Coach K. P. Yeah, I got word y'all wanted to talk to me. Look here, man. Look, let's just get this over with. Y'all ain't got to appreciate me for coming and talking about, hey, man, we preach. No, man, cut all that fake stuff out, man. I ain't trying to hear none of it. Now, what is it that y'all wanted me? Yeah, y'all want to talk to me? Talk to me about what? The internet what? No, man. The internet ain't got y'all looking like nothing. Y'all got y'all looking like this, man. Y'all came, y'all think y'all can. Y'all not finna make me think. No, no, I don't. I'm not. Listen, P, I'm not buying it. Of all people. And you need a Coast K. I'm not buying it. When I found out that y'all had a secret meeting with James Prince, man, I couldn't believe it. I said, man, how can they do that to take off? Y'all didn't want no more bloodshed. Why not? I don't know why y'all didn't. Yeah, P, you talk all that noise and you from the street. I thought when I, I just knew you was going to be ready to go to war. Ain't no way in the world you was going to tell me that you of all people wasn't going to. I couldn't. But you telling me that's not the way it is. But this is what I'm not understanding. With Jane Prince, was he supposed to come out on a million dollars worth of game and put that out there that y'all had met? I look, I knew when he said that. I I say, man, I know, boy, Coach K and P going crazy because I know y'all saying, man, why is he doing all this talking? You say y'all allegedly y'all find out that he working with the police. Yeah, he working with the police. And look, now y'all done got y'all self involved in this murder investigation. Yeah, man, he mentioning names. He mentioning y'all name. Y'all had to know he was a snake. Yeah, he. <laughs> Listen, that boy right there is the worst snake of all. Yeah, he a black snake. <laughs> Look at his hair. <laughs> yeah, he a black snake. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm glad y'all done came to y'all senses. Because he did. Let me be honest with you. Let me be honest with you and tell you what I didn't understand. How can y'all love take out the way y'all did and groom that boy? I don't care what y'all going through with offset. That don't mean nothing. That's still your family. You don't turn your back on your family for them Houston boys. Yeah, that's why I was so mad and upset with y'all. Boy, I was mad. I was upset. Boy, I probably, boy, people, I, man, I couldn't stand the lick. I, I, was, I seen you when you... Oh, you seen me down there? Yeah, I seen you when you drove by in your Rolls Royce. Man, I just looked at you, man. I just, I just turned my back. I said, man, I can't believe this. So how y'all gonna handle this situation with James Prince? He better keep y'all. Man, he ain't gonna keep y'all name out of his mouth. You think he care about it? He don't care about nothing but him and the more ugly boys. Yeah. That's true. That is true. I, but, no, man, I don't care how close Jazz and Quavo was. We talking about justice for takeoff, man. See, y'all get distracted with this rap stuff. And, and homeboys, I'm talking about that boy mama. Come on, man, Coach K, you know. 
Come on, man. You don't you don't sit at this woman's table. You don't put your feet up under this woman's table. And this is how you treat her son. What do I think y'all need to do? I think y'all need to get ready for war. Yeah, see, I'll sit. He ain't playing right now. See, I'll sit. He being the voice of takeoff right now. See, y'all in Quavo, but y'all sitting up here trying to keep the peace. It ain't no peace right now. No, it's the revolution. It's time. It's a hey, coach K and P. It's time. I don't care what you got to leave behind. I'm willing to ride too. I'm willing to go down to Houston and set it off. I'm talking about like Frankie and Cleo. I'm talking about set it off. That's what I'm talking about. That kind of set it off. Well, one thing about it, they always say, don't go to war if you ain't got the money. I know y'all got the money. Y'all just sold QC for over $320 million. Y'all got plenty of money to go to war with James Prince. You're not going to tell me y'all ain't got enough money. Y'all go down there and knock the black out of his hair. <laughs> you ain't got to worry about nobody down there doing nothing, especially Mike Prince. You ain't got to worry about him doing nothing. No, that boy got to go. What's tomorrow? Monday. <laughs> By the time y'all pull up in Houston, he going to be down there getting his eyebrows waxed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he go get his eyebrows waxed every Monday. Yeah, then he go down there and get a wax. Yeah, he get his wax. Yeah. I'm not playing. I'm serious. Oh, y'all, y'all didn't know Mike. Allegedly, Mike, Mike, he done came out the closet. Mike Prince, yeah, yeah, he done came on out the closet. Yeah, that was him. With that was him. You say you thought that was a woman? <laughs> no, he got one of them Brazilian butt lifts. <laughs> yeah, Bad man Kivo took him down there to get him a Brazilian butt lift. So you seen him? You didn't even recognize him, did you? That's my prince. I, hey, you see what I'm saying, man? See, they weak right now. And they're from on this perfect time to attack. Spartans, it's time. It's time. Have I talked to Sid? Yeah, I just talked to Sid. Yeah, we just got through coming back from the McDonald thing. That's see you y'all see what I'm saying y'all forgot about Sid. Yeah man, let me go out here and park my car. Man, I'm parked in the middle of the street. Yeah boy, I, why my yeah my car still running? What man? I thought I was gonna have to jump on jump on y'all and run out here and jump in my car and burn off. I didn't know what to expect when I came here. Right. All right man. Well, let me park my car.